morning, everyone. Welcome to Tea Time with Ms. Reyes. Today, we're going to be discussing a very important issue that has to do with That's right, guys. Teachers are joining students on TikTok. Clearly, TikTok is a social media platform that we have to keep an eye on. For this reason, we're going to be discussing a very important question today. Does the end justify the means? With us today, our three experts are going to be. Thank you. Sorry, guys. With us today, our three experts are going to be discussing this main question to evaluate the pros and cons of social media. With us today is TikTok founder, Mr. Chin, parental advisory, Mr. Brenner. There are so many problems on social media, Ms. Reyes. So many problems. Okay, guys, this is about to get good. And lastly, we have a, the user aspiring influencer, Justin, a TikTok almost famous person. We'll see. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Excellent. So let's do the first question. What are the adverse effects of social media? Better. Please take the floor. Okay, I have pages and pages. Look at all this. All of it bad. All of the statistics are bad. So let me just give you some examples here. Number one, five years ago, just five years ago, only half of kids had phones. Now that number is over 90%. The average eight to 12 year old spends at least five hours looking at screens each day. And that was before we were locked at home. Now it's probably 10 to 12, 13, 14 hours a day. It's all bad, Miss Reyes. It's all bad and it's got to stop. It's got to go. Got to go. Okay, I definitely hear you, but let's see what the other side has to say. Other side? There is no other side. <laughs> There's always two sides to a story, guys. Go on. Alyssa, what do you think? Oh, Mr. Chin. Sorry. Okay, so as we can see, TikTok founder, Mr. Chin, definitely got those moves. i hard pressed to argue that my dances haven't changed society for the better. Think about news right now, especially during the quarantine and the coronavirus. News spreads faster on social media than any other medium. 79% of people polled say they get their news first from social media. Law yeah. enforcement. But who are these social people? Media to catch criminals, 73% of arrests these days, investigations are all due to social media. Chin talk founder, you think that's a good idea to get news from? Social media, this is who we're trusting? Interesting, well, things are definitely getting heated up. So let's go on to the next question. Let's see what you guys have to say. What are the positive effects of social media on kids? Guys, kids. I think positive effects, like what I do, I influence kids by posting videos of my dog. I post cooking videos because I think kids really want to see the food that I post on my social media. And that's just how I make my living is by posting just random stuff on social media. Right now, I have 34 followers, but guys, but I do plan on making up to a million followers because like I said, that's how I'm gonna make my living. So if I could do it, do it too, kids. Okay, Ms. Rice, these aren't real jobs, okay? Who has a job on TikTok? This is not real. Look at the, look at this, there's no good stats. These are 12 pages of bad stats. Look at all this. One in three children have been cyberbullied. That's probably low. That's probably not even the real number. Face-to-face -face interactions decreasing. I can't take this anymore. All right, Mr. Benner, I think you need some time off. Let's see here for a minute. Oh, there you go. Sorry, viewers, you know, people get a little excited talking about this topic. But let's move on to the last question. With all the pros and cons, the big question is still, does the end justify the means? Mr. Chin. Okay, I think those moves prove that yes, 
the end definitely justified the means. Anyway. Absolutely. My man over there, he brings up jobs, finding jobs today due to social media. 96% of employers use social media in the hiring process. On average, 68% of jobs in the U.S. for those looking for jobs, especially now after the quarantine, find their jobs through social media. It empowers women in business, considering there are 474 male CEOs, 26 female CEOs, but 80% of females use social media and find their jobs and stay connected in the business world through social media. Yo. All right, Mr. Chin, point well made. Melissa, what do we- I, I agree with Chin Sock because it gives people uh, a living. It gives me a living, so I agree. Okay, and lastly, Mr. Benner, if you can behave yourself, <sighs> you can definitely have the less common. I feel like one of these kids that gets their screen time taken away right now. I don't even get to make my points, but I'm going to make one last point, and that is that most parents don't even monitor their kids' social media. So I think the ends do not justify the means. We don't know where this is going. Who needs to see this man dance? Why is that important? Who needs to see a dog and food? I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. I'm going back to the dark ages with pen and paper and snail mail. Okay, that doesn't sound pleasant at all. But viewers, this is up to you. What do you think? Does the end justify the means? Let me know.